And now let's look at another scenario where the coil is working perfectly and the spark plug is correct. And the only problem being now is the spark plug gap is too wide. The coil will produce the electrical current which will go towards the spark plug. It will have the right level of resistance through the plug for this particular coil. But because the gap is too wide, the electron flow current finds it difficult to arc across that gap to the ground electrode. And that's because it's too far away for those negatively charged electrons in the current to sense the positive charge of the ground from that ground electrode. Because this current isn't flowing through the spark plug the way it really should do, the smart regulating system inside the coil pack recognises this and basically it thinks that the spark plug isn't getting enough current. So in response to that it upregulates the current even more with the intention of giving the spark plug the amount of current it needs for a sufficient spark. Basically it's trying to compensate for the lack of flow going through the spark plug by creating more current with the hopes of pushing more through. And as before, that's likely to produce a lot of heat in the coil and result in the kind of heat damage to the coil that we've already seen.